Let's go. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. My channel, that, that sounds a bit weird. I'm sorry Luke, I'm sorry. But Luke has gone, this is the first video where it's gonna be completely me guys. I'm riding solo. I say all me, I'm training with some friends so. We're gonna go to the gym, we're gonna get the leg session done. This is breaking a little bit of the fourth wall because I've already done the gym session. But for you it's gonna be in the future. And then we're gonna have a little bit of a sit down and talk about like future plans and stuff because I'm gonna be making more content. And what I want to know from you guys is what type of content do you want to see? Obviously I've got a degree in physiotherapy, I'm a personal trainer. I might as well utilize this knowledge I have on biomechanics, the human body, how it works, how it's meant to function and teach you guys the best things that you can possibly do. So let me know in the comments below what you think about that, what type of exercises and what type of stuff you'd want to see. I want to dive into a little bit more lifestyle stuff as well so explaining to you guys a little bit what's going on in my life, what's going on with work, what's going on with different things like that and we can talk about all these things in the vlogs, get a little bit more personal, get into the nitty gritty them little bits and stuff. If you don't follow me on Instagram already make sure you head over there and do that because I'm going to be posting every day different content and I'll be posting stories about all my new YouTube videos we'll, we'll move I don't know what's coming next we'll see what's coming next we'll do a smooth transition shall we and we'll see what's coming next in the video We're in a big leg day today. I'm going to be taking you through all the movements and different stuff we're doing. Started out just doing my warm up, as you've just seen. I'm going to start doing some activation on the leg extension here. Then we're going to be hitting the leg press and we're going super, super heavy today. We're going to be working really hard and pushing my legs to the absolute limit. I have been taking up a little bit of a power building split, which I'll go into in more detail in the future. I'm going to be really hitting, smashing legs heavy today, like proper bodybuilder style. I'm training with the guys from Muscle Mechanics, so we're going to see them put me through my paces today. It's going to be absolutely class. One that's free, quick match. leg press it's a great way to develop your entire leg depending on where your foots are positioned on the platform it can be completely dependent on where you're targeting so if your feet go wider and higher up the platform like this turn down slightly then that the weight is transferred onto your hamstrings and your glutes a lot more if you come more into a neutral position like we're training today you get your full leg engagement feet nice and close together you primarily focus on your quads great way to like specify it and change it up to make it so you can target different areas of the movement like I said, today we're lifting quite a lot of heavy weight. So we want to keep his legs nice and neutral and keep it focused so that we can push the weight and get as much leg activation as we actually can. Let's go. Keep that back, keep your butt driven in the back. 
on Jerome's first set, what happened is when he was getting to the bottom of his rep, he was tilting slightly at his pelvis and he was arching his lower back, so his back was coming off the platform. We really want to avoid that, and it's the same in kind of like a hack squat or a leg press. You basically want to keep your back planted as much as you can so you can keep the force and the focus in your leg and keep it out of your lower back. When this set, he's driven his legs and he's forcing his bum back into the seat. It's really helping him not feeling any lower back pain, feeling just stronger in the movement itself. So make sure when you're doing hack squat leg press, you keep your bum nice and planted in the seat and make sure the focus is in your legs. Throughout this entire exercise, what we've been doing, we've been using a resistance band on the actual pendulum squat because what this does is at the top of the movement here, it's normally easier. So the more tension on the band there, it makes it harder to work up out of the bottom of the squat. And why we've got these nice pretty weights on here is what we're going to be doing is doing a trot set. Oh, it's knackered, I can't talk. Basically what we're going to do is just taking the 15 off, I'll take a 5 off after a couple more 5 off, then probably just take the band off to finish and then be absolutely done. Legs are going to be absolutely finished after that. You've got your biggest fan watching you as well, come on. <laughs> this is great banter. hips are popping up, it's taking the action and taking the movement away from his actual hamstring. He's utilising his lower back muscles even more to do that and utilising his core. If you want to take that core out of the tension, this is an isolation movement for your hamstrings. So you want to keep the movement in your hamstrings and keep it nice and strong. How do you like that? It's very, very <laughs> naughty, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, that was an absolutely class workout. Absolutely smashed the legs, felt up incredible afterwards. But it was just like there's certain little tips and certain little things that even working with some of the PTs and the guys from the gym, helping them get better and helping them develop their training as well. Uh, Jerome, when we were doing the hamstring curls, them guys over there, they were really emphasizing the movement with the lower back, tensing the core. And when it's an isolation movement, you want to keep the movement in your hamstrings. And there's loads and loads of little tips and tricks. This is what me and Luke try to do with our programming and stuff as well. We'll give you the tips and we'll give you the advice advice get these kind of exercises into your routine let us know if you want to get involved with that the link is in the top of the description as always two minute survey and we will get in touch with you and we'll find out if we're going to work for you because at the end of the day we're not going to waste your time we're not going to waste your money if we are going to suit you and suit your goals then we'll be open with you about that fill in the survey go do it just go do that and then come back or wait until the video's finished and then that's better wait until the end of the video then go do it Catch up with you later on i'm gonna go cook some food i believe I'm starving so we're gonna do a little bit of a new section of the vlog i don't know why i end up keep vlogging in the rain i came and saw it because there's somewhere out a minute ago what is going on with this british weather but anyway guys i'm gonna go on and talk a little bit about motivation and drive and getting going in the gym and doing all these little different bits and bob a lot of people have been talking to me especially over this last week hold on let me you seem a little bit tilted even you out a little bit is that better? Is that better? You feel better? Not seasick anymore? A lot of people have been messaging me, been talking to me, friends and family and stuff as well about Luke wanting to stop YouTube and stuff and how it's affected me. Like, what is my drive going to be? Is it going to make me stop wanting to do it? And like, what's motivating me to keep going with this content and keep going with all like the little business things and stuff that I'm doing? And one thing that has motivated me and the words that I always say that I think is so important is, do you want to be an average person? Take that average person 
and compare yourself to them. Me personally, I do not want to compare myself to the average. I compare myself to the elite. If someone is being average and you're comparing yourself to them, you're always just gonna be above average. And what I'd want to do is get away from that completely. I compare myself to the best of the best. So the people that are at the top of the game where I want to be, all the, like, your top fitness YouTubers, all the people that are killing it in business, and all the people that are doing these different things, that's where I want to be. So I'm comparing what I'm doing and my lifestyle to them, and I'm not comparing it to your average Joe. Because we're in different leagues, there's no point even messing about trying to compare yourself to them kind of people. So if you guys can take that kind of mindset on, it's something that I think has really helped me as of recently. It just pushes you, it motivates you, it gets you going. It, you just feel class, you feel ace for it. But you want to compare yourself to like their mindset and their like drive and determination to get what they want. Like, I really want to be successful in doing this. I love doing social media. I love making videos. I love editing the videos. And when I've seen you, some of you guys at events and stuff, it's been absolutely incredible and it is such a good feeling. So this is what I want to drive towards and do more of. And I want to use my skills, my physio skills, use my personal training knowledge, use everything that I've got to help you guys get better and achieve your goals with it. Whether you're my client of personal training or not, I put so much content out there that I really want to show that off and really want to like just develop it and keep going with it. So that is why I am driven and I'm determined to keep going with this YouTube even though Luke wasn't so keen about continuing. When you change your attitude to stop caring about the little things in life, like the other day I got a parking ticket, I could have let that ruin my entire day, put me in a bad mood and initially it did when I first got it. I got the parking ticket, I looked at it, I'm like, I'm just going to pay it out of my mind, forget about it, move on with my life, back to being happy, positive and motivated. Sure, there's different elements of this kind of stuff that you can deal with and you can do in your life. If it's starting you a little bit of a routine, stop pressing that snooze button. Like I said, I just want to get a little bit more personal, give you a little bit more of a, a vibe, to get talking to you guys basically, have a little bit of a rant, talk about things that are on my mind, and hopefully make it entertaining and we can smash it out of the park together, can't we? I'm going to finish my coffee and then we'll have a catch up later on. Alright? Cheers, yeah? Cheers. I'm winging the rest of the video. I'm going to wing the outro as well. So I'm just at home chilling now. That is not a pizza box. Not eating pizza, I promise. Instead of it having so much structure, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the videos like more about me in a sense. It's going to have more personality to me. Like get into the nitty gritty different things about my personal life as well as all my fitness stuff and all my fitness goals as well. But after all things aside, I'm going to enjoy the last piece of my pizza. You don't get like meat pizza. I don't know what you're doing with yourself. So make sure you like the video. Come on, I'm running solo now, I'm going solo. You've got to like the video. I'm riding solo. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and there's always a one last thing to say. Stay obsessed. <laughs>